Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and loads going on around the channel today. Simon has published on Patreon his solve of the Cogito's incredible roller coaster Nurikabe Sudoku puzzle. It's just extraordinary. Um, it's a figurative roller coaster of emotions as well as of a puzzle. And uh, do check that out if you have two and a half hours to spare. Um, if you have two hours to spare later in the week, we will be streaming again, I believe, although we haven't fixed a day yet. Uh, we'll probably go back to the case of the Golden Idol because we finally finished Chance of Senar in the last stream. You can watch the video on demand still on the channel. Um, what else we got going on? Oh, thank you to everybody who said really kind things about my run on Countdown. I am very grateful. Um, yeah, very, very polite things have been said and... I'm charmed by that. Um, now, I didn't think I did as well as I could have, to be honest, but there we go. There we go. That's me being foolishly self-critical. Uh, what else we got going on? We've got all sorts. We've got all our apps. Check those out on the links under the video. We've got um, Sven Sudoku Pad and our merchandise link there as well, as well as, of course, Patreon, where... you We're about a week into the three-week run of All the Fun of the Fair. A five puzzle Sudoku hunt. Two of them are pretty difficult, but give them a try because people are getting through them and enjoying them. Uh, loads of correct entries in. Well done if you've done that. Now, let's look at today's puzzle, which is a debut that was sent to us actually a while ago by um, Razor, and it's called Golden Arrows. Now, not sure how clear this is. On, I mean, I will tell you in the rules that there are arrows everywhere that you can deduce. So let's do the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. One to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Um, golden lines are Nabna lines, and they mustn't contain consecutive digits anywhere on them. This is, it's not just neighboring digits, but even those two can't be consecutive, or those two. Um, no Nabna line can have any two consecutive digits anywhere on it. Um, and they have no repeat digits, obviously, either. Digits on an arrow sum to the digit in the circle. So you can see from the arrow tips where there are arrows. If I can manage to construct a version of this puzzle in our software in time to put it up with this video, I will put that up. But I'm using Razor's version of it here, and I think it's clear enough. There is an arrow there. There is an arrow there. That's perhaps the most hidden one somehow. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. And obviously the one that is exposed there. Digits separated by a V sum to 5. Digits separated by an X sum to 10. We Oh, and there's a white dot as well. Consecutive digits on that. That's it. Give it a try if you fancy it. It's meant to be not all that hard, but that might be a self-assessment by Razor. I'm going to start now. We'll see how we go. Let's get cracking. So a five cell Nabna line is a nice introduction. That has to be one, three, five, seven, nine. Because that's the only way you can get five digits on a line. Use all the odds. Um, so this one on the V is obviously one or three connecting to a two or four. And they obviously add up to five. We're going to add those two cells, which must be one each at a minimum and get to at least seven here. So this number is seven, eight, or nine. Now, I've used up my one trump card of the five cell Nabna line. Is this gonna be a polarity puzzle? Should I be coloring these even and the others odd? I don't know. Might be interesting. Oh, what's this? Right, this white pair, a uh, white dot pair of digits. Can't go above four five to allow that cell to fill. So this is odd because it's adding an odd and an even. Consecutive must be always involving an odd and an even. Now I think these are from one, two, three, four, five. I'm very confident about that. We can't go above four five. So that's using four of the cells from one to five. This also is using one of the cells from one to five because these two cells mustn't add up to more than four. So they can only be from one, two, and three. 
Now, if that's a 3-2 pair, that's a 1, and that's definitely 4-5. If that's 1-4, though... Ah, oh, actually, it's harder if that's 1-4. In fact, it's impossible. That's really interesting. I thought 2-3 was the more constraining case here because it forced that cell. It's not. It's the white dot that constrains. If that was 1-4, the white dot would have to be 2-3 down here, and that is impossible to fill then. So this is a 3-2, and we're off. We've got a digit in the grid, and we've instantly got three digits in the grid, and a fourth, because we know this dot is a 4-5 now. We can put 9 in there. Now, let's tidy up the pencil marks. I'm often being told I don't do enough of that, so we will do that a bit. Uh, this can't be a 1. That 9 is ruled out of a couple of cells there. That can't be 2 or 4. There's a 4, remember, on this dot. In fact, let's. there's also a 5 on it. So this is from 6, 7, 8, or 9, because we've used all the low digits in the column. Now, this is adding 6 plus 1 or 2. Yeah, correct. Okay, so it is 7 or 8. It is not 9. So that can still be 9. Okay, now this Nabna line, is that interesting? It's got a 1 and a 7 or 8 on it. This can't be 9. It now can't be 8 or 7. I reckon it can be 6, 5, 4 or 3. The line is not that interesting. This one can't have 1 or 2 on it. But I don't know what it does have on it. Um... This line can't have three. And obviously, it can only have one of one or two. Now, it can't have neither of one or two. I'm going to allege that. Because if it did, it would be at least four and five. It can't be actually four and five, because the Nabna rules forbid that. And if it goes over four and five, it breaks this circle. So it must have the other of one or two on it. And there are a virtual pair amongst those three cells. So we can't have one in those cells. And now we know where one is in box one. It's there. Um, so this has one or two on it and a number that is a bit higher, but actually it could go all the way up to eight. Okay. This is a four cell Nabna. Oh no, this is a four cell Nabna. Oh, this is a very helpful four cell Nabna. I didn't spot that four of the cells, three of the cells of this four cell Nabna are on the same line. So these must not touch. And they must be one, three, five, because they've got to add up to this circle, which is therefore, therefore nine. One, three, five are the minimum three digits that don't touch. Nine is obviously the maximum individual cell digit. So that must be right. This on the same Nabna is seven or eight. Now, this group adds up to 9. It's clearly not... Again, it's 1, 3, 5. They're all on the same Nabna. It's exactly the same principle. Oh, and this tidies up stuff. It is approachable, this puzzle. Good. 2 there makes that an 8. That becomes 6. Now we've just got a couple of odd digits to account for in column what's-its-face. Column 3. There is a 1 on this arrow and Nabna. Right, now we've made some progress here, I feel. Those are from 135. These include an odd digit as well, because that is odd. This must be an odd and an even as a result. Uh, which way round will those babies be, would you say? Well, the odd digit Oh, uh, no, I was going to say it's at least seven, and that's ridiculous. It's not. It's it's the missing odd digit. Well, it could be seven if that was seven to adding up to nine. And that would be a perfectly reasonable Nabna. The alternative is that it's the other digit. It's this digit from the 135 triple. So I don't think we actually get much information about that. Now, what about this pair? Oh, this is just a Nabna line. Ah, Okay, these digits, though, can't include 1, 2, 3, 5, or 9. They are selected from 4, 6, 7, and 8. Not 8. 8's in the box. Right. 
they're selected from four, six, and seven. They clearly can't be six and seven on the same Nabna. So there is a four there. This digit now can't be three, four, or five, or one, two, or eight. It is six, seven, or nine. It can't be six or seven, because that would create a four, six, seven line. That is a nine. Weird. Okay, so there's a nine in one of those cells by Sudoku. There's also a nine. Oh, this has been available for ages. Oh, well. Sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. People say, I can't believe he didn't see that. But sometimes you're just not looking at the right thing. I'm afraid that happens. That actually happens even for you, even though you don't think it does. Um, now, two in this middle row seems to only have one cell left. That's nice. And then there'll be a two in one of those spots. Now, this can't be a four. It is six, seven, or eight. Yeah, I thought I might know that it wasn't eight, but I don't know that. These, I'm going to put these pencil marks in. They don't include four, but I think that's giving me a quintuple. Three, four, five, six, seven. It is in the column. Interesting. Right, we've got a seven there. So now the third digit from the third odd digit from one, three, five is on this arrow and it gives us a virtual triple this time. We had a virtual pair up there. Now we've got a virtual triple of one, three, five here. So that can't be three or five. It is four or six. There's a four in that pair. So that's a six. Six comes out of those potential cells. Four in this column now has to be here. Um, Yeah, it doesn't do much else other than the one cell that it filled in. Now, this is either 2, 5. It's not 6, 1, obviously. We've had the 6, and that would break the NABN rules. And it's not 3, 4, because together they would break the NABN rules. So it is 2, 5. 1 and 3 there. That's a 5. That hasn't resolved this, unsurprisingly. In this row, we have 4, 8, and 9 to place. That's an 8. 4, 9 pair over there. Now, this X can't have a 4 or a 9 on it. It's either 2, 8, or 3, 7. I'm going to mark those in. And I'm going to think about this, but not for long. Uh, that's become a 2. A bit of tidy up, always good. That's a 1, 3 pair. That's not a 3. This is a five, six, seven set of no particular interest. Um, that can't be a two, so that can't be an eight. Okay, I'm gonna think about this again. If that was three, seven, four, nine, one, this would be from two, it can't have a two on it, brilliant. There's no two on this line by Sudoku. So 2 is in one of those two cells. Now, that's not the thing in itself. What is the thing is if this was a 3, 7 pair, forcing that to be 1, the only digits remaining here would be 5, 6, 8, which is a broken Nabna. So this is not a 3, 7. This is 8, 2. We know the order. Uh, it doesn't fix this. It may not even fix this line. We can't use... 2, 4, 8, or 9 on it. We've got 1, 3, 5, 6, and 7. I, I think that's quite difficult to determine, to be honest, at this stage. The line has helped us dramatically, but it doesn't solve now. But the V solves as a 1, 4 pair. That's going to finish the box, including with a 3 in the corner. That's 3 in the corner. This is a 3, 2. That's a 1. Now... We can't put five, six, seven on the line. Indeed, we can't put six on the line because five or seven would have to accompany it. So we put six there. The line is three, five, seven and is now very helpful. This is a six, seven, nine triple. Clearly that's not six and seven. So there must be a nine on it. In fact, that's an eight. That's now not an eight. That's the eight in row five. We're getting there now. This is a nice puzzle and not too difficult. That can't be three or four because we can't put a two or a three in this pair. This is either one five or one six. Oh no, look, we've got a five seven pair. So it's one six 
adding up to a seven circle. This might be determined now. Yes, that's a four. The last two cells in this row are nine and eight. We get nine and four down here. Now, what's going on in this snap and line? We've got a one up here somewhere. Let's just, oh no, in fact, that's a two seven pair. We must be able to finish this. In fact, we can write in one and five by Sudoku. Now we can't have six on the line. And once we put three on the line, we can't have two on it. Very neat. Two, four there. Three, five, seven are a set up here. That can't be, in fact, this three has sorted out a five, three pair, which sorts out the seven, five, three triple. Four, eight, nine here. Four is obviously on the Nabner, because eight, nine can't make it up. That two is looking down at a five. The seven now at the top is looking down at a six there. That six looks back up at a one. Uh, we need a six in one of these two cells. I don't know which one it is. These can't be seven anymore. I feel like I can pro, oh, that can't be five. Can I do these? Or are they a chocolate teapot triple, unaffected by a nabna? That's a new form of chocolate teapot. Um, that is a four, six pair here. This is a three, one pair. That's a five, six, seven, three, six there. I'm going to express some relief here because I've been under some pressure today. I'm due to go out to a cabaret evening tonight and um, if I had not got this puzzle done quickly, I would have had to turn up very late. I mean, I'm not saying I've done this as quickly as it could have been, but it's been nice and nice and smooth. That is eight or nine by Sudoku in this column. That is a four by Sudoku. Seven and four. We're going to finish it off now. Seven and nine, eight and nine. I really hope and I'm confident that this is correct. There we go. So that is a very approachable Nabna puzzle. Very good introduction to the genre by Razor. Thank you for that. Very nice golden arrows, if a little difficult to determine where the arrow goes. I don't know if we'll have time to fix that, but thank you to Razor. Thank you to you for watching, as always, for your kind comments um, and for being such a nice community generally. It really is lovely. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching and bye for now.